Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're joining me today. Today I'm sharing a layout that I created for the Papers and Beyond team. I am guest designing for them for the month of August. Also the month of August is the Choose to Shine kit um, and it features papers from Amy Tan, her new Shine On collection and it also features papers from the new Maggie Holmes Willow Lane collection. So this background paper that I'm going to use is from Amy Tan and um, I love that tiny little floral. It kind of hurt my heart a little to use the paper because the back is so cute with those like brown and white bunnies. But I know like, yeah, cute is cute, but you know what, I'll probably never use the bunny paper. Like I'll probably just end up hoarding it because I don't know how to use themey papers like that. And I envy the people who can make them work. I'm just not one of those people. Um, and so yeah. So this photo I took a couple weeks ago and it's of my oldest little. And we had gone um, out to Rib Fest. Um, we were there twice that weekend. Um, and the rib fest, we went on Friday and then we went again on the Sunday. And so, but when we went on Sunday, we didn't really go to rib fest. <laughs> we more or less went to the area where rib fest was. And that was because where this festival was, it was placed right on the water and it was just beautiful. Um, and so you could technically avoid rib fest and just enjoy the pier and you could bring, um, like fishing rods and go fishing or if you are a boat owner you could take your boat out or sea do or you know whatever it is that you do on the water <laughs> um, but we ended up bringing the girls bikes um, actually my oldest brought her bike and then our little one we brought her like motorized um, quad and um, so they just rode up and down the pathway and it was really cute because there were other bikers um, not bikers like motorcyclists, but like bicyclists <laughs> riding up and down the trail. And so every time that my girls would see another cyclist, they'd be like, hi. And they were like, everyone was like best of friends, right? It was really, a re it's a really, it was in a town that was a really friendly community. And so, yeah. So you can see here that I'm second guessing my placement of my strip. Originally, I wanted it to go vertically. And then I was like, well, what if I change it? What if I turn around? But Ultimately, I decide to um, keep it vertical, and I'm glad that I did. <laughs> what I was telling you about this photo. So this photo was taken um, that weekend, and it's of my oldest. And um, she was riding her bike up and down the, the pathway of the pier. And it's like, not the boardwalk, because like it was right on the water, but it was like a cemented path. So you could safely walk or ride your bike and um like right around the entire lake and um there's bushes and greenery on this like it's decorative obviously and she was just riding by and picking these flowers <laughs> you know like put that in quotations because she thought that they were flowers but they're actually weeds and she's like mommy i'm picking you flowers and i was like okay baby and then she was just so cute the way she was handing me these flowers and so I said, let mommy take a picture of you. And she's like, okay. And I just snapped these pictures. And I took them with my um, with my iPhone. And I have an iPhone 10, But I, I think that an iPhone 8 has the same feature. But there's portrait mode. Um, and so portrait mode kind of, um, it blurs out the background. It makes it more, I don't know how to describe it really. It's more of like a... It would make it would suggest that you have like a special lens on your camera like a background blurring lens when really it's it's just your phone <laughs> I didn't bring my big camera with me I just took my iPhone I, I rarely bring um, my camera with me my big girl camera with me anywhere anymore I brought it with me to Mexico when we went in at the end of May and I didn't pull it out once Do you know why because I have a good camera on my phone and sometimes I feel like my phone takes better pictures than my actual camera. Weird, right? So, um, but I still do use my camera to photograph like my layouts and whatnot, but I know a lot of people use their phones. I just totally 
spoke to you for like five minutes about nothing having to do with the layout. <laughs> okay, so let's get back to the layout. So the ephemera that I'm using is from the Maggie Holmes uh, Willow Lane collection. And this is brand spanking new. And also I wanted to say that it's not part of the August exclusive, like it's not part of the main kit. This is part of the um, August embellishment add-on um, kit. And, um, so yeah, like I'm big on ephemera and I love, like I embellish heavily, so I will always be the one to add extra ephemera. <laughs> if you're a minimalist, which is not me, <laughs> you guys know that, um, then, you know, the ephemera that comes with the kit is just a-okay. So I wanted to use, um, a piece of ephemera that was in the collection and it said you are magic, but the colors did not go with the photo or the color scheme of my entire layout so I opted to use the same title that is from the collection it's in the collection um, but just make it my own and those stickers come in the collection in the kit and they're called wonderful and I want to say that they're from Maggie Holmes but I could be absolutely wrong no oh no I'm wrong so those stickers are called Twilight but I also do use the thickers that come with the Maggie Holmes Wonderful. They're called Wonderful. Um, but they're like thick foam stickers and not like alphas. So here I am using the tassels that come in this kit as well. They're so cute. And I picked that like corally kind of red. It's like an orangey red. Uh, because I had stuck that tag that you see in the top left hand corner of my photo. Um like matting and um, I needed to add it in different places because just that little one red piece did not look right so I am sticking that red um, tassel there and that kind of balances that out and this like wreath flourish is from the Amy Tan um, ephemera pack that comes in the kit and this bunny I was like I'm gonna use this bunny like, it has nothing to do with my photo. And I'm not one of those people who uses, like, the animals, like, <laughs> the giraffes that came in Maggie, one of Maggie Holmes' kits, like, the zebras. I don't use those things. I like them. I love them, actually. But I don't use them. But I was like, that bunny just looks so perfect there, and I'm going to use it. <laughs> so there you see I have a third pop of red up in the top right-hand corner in my cluster there. And see, these are the thickers that are called Wonderful. They're made by thickers, but they're like foam. Um, they're foam stickers. So they're stickers backed on foam. They're really cool. I really, really like them. Let's see. What else am I doing? I'm contemplating what else to add. So I know that I'm going to add some a sprinkle of stars. So three, one in each cluster, just to create a visual triangle. And I'm just, I'm just, I'm just going to add some gold splatter and my layout is pretty much done. <laughs> um, the, I'm so sad that the Heidi Swap color shine will, is discontinued. Luckily I snapped up a, a few, uh, bottles of it before I found that out. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. You'll find all the links to Papers and Beyond in the, in like all their links in the description box below. I hope you guys will check them out and uh, join us on Facebook and on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye.